How does a little boy playing by the lake with tiny creatures in the water becomes one of the most prominent figures in psychology? Hello, I'm a developmental psychologist and today we are talking about Jean Piaget. Jean Piaget was born in a small French-speaking town of Neuchâtel in Switzerland. He was in love with biology, so much so that by age 11, 11, he published a small scientific paper on an albino sparrow. By the age of 15, he published a few more papers on the topic of mollusks. He went on to study biology at his bachelor's level and a PhD in zoology at the University of Neuchâtel. During his time at the University of Zurich, for his postdoctoral work, he came across a professor of psychology, Carl Jung. And after spending a semester with him, he was absolutely hooked. Jean Piaget went to Paris to work at a boys' school. And it just happened that the owner of the school was designing a child intelligence test. This test ended up being quite famous. However, Piaget quickly discovered that the test they had come up with is too rigid. When children were given an opportunity to explain their incorrect answers, they neither lacked in reasoning or intelligence, but simply in factual knowledge. In 1923, Jean Piaget got married and went on to have three children, two girls and a boy. It was through observing and recording changes in his own children's development from infancy that his famous cognitive theory was born. Jean Piaget had natural curiosity that was nurtured by his academic parents. He received multiple awards during his lifetime and he developed a strong work ethic from a young age, always searching for knowledge and drawn to highly intellectual people. Jean Piaget had a productive career and a lasting legacy. He passed away in 1980. If you are interested to learn more about his cognitive theory, you can find it on my channel. See you then. Bye.